It's official! Okay, we are about to get started with this new 12 week series of how I'm gonna drop fat, not weight. I say that because I'm gonna need you to keep me focused on my ultimate goal. When I get on that scale and I get sad and I get depressed, I'm not here to lose weight. I'm here to lose fat. Let's go. Okay guys, so for those who don't know, my name is Crystal. This is my YouTube channel and this is my first video. I've had YouTube though for so long, but I'm known on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely go follow and don't forget to subscribe because this is about to be a 12 week series that's gonna blow your mind, okay? So you guys voted to have me do this vlog for the next 12 weeks, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging my new 12 week program and I say it that way because if it works, baby, I'm selling it, okay? <laughs> Um, and right now I sell the build the butt shrink the gut plan that you guys love that has done great It has done so many results for so many women. I'll show those results there as well as myself All right But I need something different, you know, we've had the build the butt shrink the gut plan since 20 I started building it in 2017 Started really using it in 2018 and they started to sell it in 2019 So technically for me, I've definitely been using it religiously since 2018 and my body's at that point where I just need more Right? So here we go the 12 week program Okay, if you guys like I said don't follow me on here you want to subscribe you don't want to miss this program that I'm going to be putting together. I'm going to be showing you so many different things that I've never done that I'm literally learning from cal calorie counting, tracking calories, tracking my macros, coming up with my macros, living hefty, heavy weights. I'm going to take you guys to the gym as I work out. Um, definitely do my weekly body, um, should I say videos so we can make sure I'm on track, you know, because even if the scale doesn't move, the videos might show something different. Okay, getting my body scans done so we can know how much of my body is really made up of fat. Because remember, my ultimate goal, guys, is what? Not to lose weight, but to lose fat. I'm going to say that repeatedly because that's probably the biggest thing that I have to keep in mind. I'm not losing weight. I'm trying to lose fat. I'm not losing weight. I'm trying to lose fat. Okay. And if you guys are probably wondering, why are you trying to lose fat and not lose weight? Right. You guys voted. Um, I put a I put um, up a reel on the difference between weight loss and fat loss. I'll show you guys that here. I want to say I'm, I'm going to make it a short too. Um, and as you guys can see, after going through that um, reel, you guys voted that you guys wanted to see more fat loss and that you guys wanted to lose fat. So what better way to show you how to lose weight, fat? I almost said weight. <laughs> what better way to show you how to lose fat than to go through it myself? And then you guys can see all the ups and the downs because my program that I have now, the Build the Butt Shrink the Gut Plan, definitely can help you lose that fat. But this type of level of fat that we about to lose over here, honey, that plan ain't going to be able to touch this, okay? This is going to be some very intense training, okay? So let's dive in. Let's go ahead. Let's get my current weight. Let's go in front of the mirror, guys. I'm going to take you into the bathroom so you guys can see my current physique, uh, my current weight, my current measurements. And then from there, we'll go on and we'll head out to get my body mass done today. We'll be going to... Um, fit body um they're in huntington beach it's my trainer so whenever i hit a plateau whenever i get tired of my own plan i usually go to a trainer um which is only one trainer the way i said it made it seem as if i go to a trainer just i find a trainer no i go to one trainer <laughs> i say it like that because my my fiance would not let me go to any other trainer um i go to a trainer so coaches have coaches you know trainers need trainers and so we're going to be going to his gym because he has a body scan. Um, he does training. I highly recommend him. Um, I'm going to show a picture, guys, from just, I want to say last summer or the summer before. Yeah, last summer, 2020, because was, it was COVID. Um, I couldn't, 
I couldn't do my home workouts. Like I said, I was I had so much going on during COVID, guys, and I gained so much weight, as you guys can see from the January video. Um, I did show you guys the January video, right? Yeah, okay. So um, I gained so much weight that I was gaining so much weight in COVID that I needed train a trainer because I felt like I wasn't pushing myself. I had too much stress going on in my head and my body. And so whenever I need to go to a trainer, this is the trainer I go to. So we'll be going there. Um, but I at least wanted to show you guys some of my results that I've gotten with him. Um, definitely the truth as you guys can see, right? We're going to go there so I can get the body scan so we can really see how much fat is in my body because that's what we're trying to target, right guys? The fat. Because we know that the scale is going to move very, very slow. And I don't want us to get discouraged on this journey thinking, oh, okay, I've only lost two pounds and it's only been one month. I should give up. No, I should look at my transformation videos and I'm going to show you guys every week. So every week we'll start off with where my body is at. Um, and then um, I should look at my body scans, which I'll be getting monthly. Okay. So let's go into the bathroom. Let's see what's going on on in this body. Okay. And see what we want to target, what we want to work on, and talk about our overall goals. Let's go in there. Okay, guys. So here we are. Um, I love this mirror. It's funny. I use this one every day. But I'm probably going to switch it over to the other mirror. Because I think that you guys won't be able to see me. Okay. Let's move that back. Okay, so this is my current physique. Remember where I started in January? I'll show that again, guys. This is where we are at currently, okay? So, can you guys see everything? Okay, so let me move the string. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so this is where we are at currently. See, my butt is definitely still there. My abs are trying to come in, but this is here, you know? My arms are so big. There's no definition in them whatsoever. So, and this is how we look from the front. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give you guys the other way too. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see me from the back. Let me move these forward. I want you guys to get a full view. From the side, she gonna be looking bad, you know? Okay. Let me use this one. So this is the mirror I was telling you guys about. This is like my, so you guys can see. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to give you guys a full view. Sorry for all of the moving. Remember y'all said vlog. Okay. Can you guys see everything? See my cellulites? Okay, look at my arms. This is what I hate the most. That's what I did want to show you guys too. It's just the level of arm fat that's there. You know, it's like arm fat and they move this back fat. Like it's just there. You know, so I'll be getting a body scan done, guys. And, um, for those of you who may not have a body scan that you can use, you can always use measuring tape. This is what I normally use. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and post my weight, my measurements, and everything on the screen for you guys so you guys can know exactly where we're starting, where we're starting at this week. But ultimately, this is what we have. Here we go, we're starting. Okay, so let's get ready to get dressed, guys, and we'll head out and go get the body skin. You guys have seen my physique and what I'm working with, okay, and what I have to work right, on. So let's get into how I plan on being successful on this 12-week plan, knowing that I've never done anything like this. I told you guys earlier that I plan on tracking, so I plan on using two different things to track, okay? The first thing that I'm going to use to track is a 90 day journal that I purchased. I love this so much. Cause I'm a pencil and paper girl and I'm an electronic girl. I'm like the in between. So I have this and um, as you guys can see here, 
let me open it this way it gives you all of the weeks do you guys see that week one week two week four so it goes to 12 weeks it's 90 days so every week it allows you to put your food in um, take notes on how you're feeling I love it um, let's see what else track your progress day to day track your your fat your carbs your proteins your macros I am probably gonna do this though from here for the week to week my grocery list so at least I know what I'm buying because I'm gonna have to plan out my meals that's gonna be key to being successful on this um, program is planning out my meals okay um the next thing i think i'm gonna use out of here of course is the notes section because girl i gotta write down my feelings of how i'm feeling so i can at least remember okay that wasn't great when i'm building out the plan if it works i want to be able to look back to see which parts i didn't like what i did like what i would change and so forth right um and then my yeah my recap so how you're feeling how was this past week my goals for week two so i really like this i thought it was the cutest little thing so i plan on using that that's the first thing i'm going to use to be successful the next is my fitness pal i have a friend her name is ashley i look like that because i'm about to tell you y'all she's been trying to get me to use my fitness pal forever in a day she swears by it and you know your girl's just lazy i'm like no because mind you i've been doing this since 2017 2018 and it's worked for me. I don't have to measure. I don't have to count. I just do. Okay. And I've been successful. Well, girl, just doing ain't working no more. So I finally downloaded Fit My Fitness Pal. And I went ahead and paid for like the huge, the package where you, you pay for it. And it's like a certain amount of money. So, so it is free. But I pay for the one that you actually pay. And when you pay for it, it gives you all these extra features. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to be using that to track, um, to actually build out my workout routine. So as you guys can see here, I've already started, um, putting it in place, the shredding program, what I plan on be, what I'm going to plan on doing, um, because I'm going to progressively low. Remember I told you I'm going to be doing really, really heavy weights. So every week I'm going to be increasing the weights on those. And if not every week, definitely every two weeks, but I want to say every week, for the exercises, exercises, the weights have to increase. So I have to track how many reps I do, how much weight was on there and everything. Okay. So that's the first thing I'm going to be using it for. The next thing, I'm also going to have my meals in here as well. So even though I'm going to write out my grocery list in the journal, um, when I actually eat the food, because even though I write in the journal, let's be honest, I can write down, I'm going to eat a salad with fish, but then lunchtime comes, I eat a veggie burger, right? So that's my grocery list is to be successful when i go to the grocery store and kind of pre-plan my meals but this is going to actually track what i actually ate every single day um and when you type in your foods and your everything you eat it tell, and i can set this up to give me the calories and give me the grams because remember the next thing i'm doing not only am i counting calories but i'm counting my macros so i figured those out let me get to my notes here guys I figure those out so for my calorie intake i'm going to be at 1900 calories total starting off okay um and after four weeks i'm going to go down to 1800 after eight weeks i'm going to go down to 1700 1900 is already a deficit for me um when i did my total um my tdee um it came out to like 2500 calories so Hey guys, let's take a quick pause. I wanna just really explain the TDEE. Here's the formula I use to come up with those total amount of calories. I added my BMR, my TF, my NEAT, and my PA. And so my TDEE, as you guys can see, is your total daily energy expenditure. This is how many calories you'll need to burn throughout the day to pretty much function, okay? If you eat this amount of calories a day, you'll pretty much maintain your weight and you will not lose any weight. My BMR, as you guys can see, was my basal metabolic rate. This is the amount of calories that my body needs every day to pretty much stay alive. And it does it automatically from pumping blood to 
resting my eyes, I'm burning calories. My TEF, which is your thermic effect of food, is the amount of calories my body is using to process and digest my food. As you guys can see, carbs burn less calories and protein burns more. Hence, while we're trying to get all our protein in. Then you have your NEAT, which is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And these are the calories that my body is using to pretty much get me throughout the day, not including sleeping or working out, let's say an activity like just moving my arms or combing my natural hair. Then you have your physical activity, which is the carbs that are, I'm sorry, the calories that are burned just while you are intentionally working out. If you add those together, you get your total amount for your calories. If you ate that many calories every single day, you'll maintain your weight. Hence why I'm eating less than that so I can be in a deficit so I can lose weight or in our case, fat. I'm eating about 600 under that. So that's already a calorie deficit. Remember, to be able to drop that, you have to be in a calorie deficit. So that was my total amount. And I'll actually um, put the equation here for you guys to see how I came up to find out what my TDEE was. And then um, my deficit, I wanted to do 25% of that. So I want to say I did 25%. That's how, that's how I subtracted or came up with the 600 to subtract to get me to the 1900 calories. Okay. Um, so I'll put all that up for you guys. And so I'm going to be eating 1900 calories. Um, out of those calories, I'm going to uh, 784 every single day will be protein. Remember the only way you're going to be successful in losing fat and making sure you keep your curves is if you're eating the right amount of protein. Most people don't know the right amount of protein. So you want to make sure that you are, you know how much protein you need, because remember, if you don't have enough protein in your body as you're doing all of these weights and you these workouts, you will start to burn muscle. Remember, I don't want to lose no muscle. I want to lose fat. So I'm going to get a, just the right amount of pro, protein. And I figured out my protein, guys. I'm so sorry. I have one gram of protein for every pound that I am. And so being that I'm 196, 197, I went ahead and just did 196 grams of protein, which comes out to 784 calories, okay? So I say it that way because I'm also going to be buying a food scale. So that way I know how many grams of protein I can eat in a day and how much that translates to in regards to my calories. These are things you will have to know on the program. Um, as I build it out, they'll just know I would submit all of the formulas and everything you need so you can figure those things out. Okay. I'm also going to be eating um, 613 calories of fat. So that's how much fat I'll be eating out of my 1900 calories, which translates to 68 grams of fat. And I'll be having 502 calories for my carbs, which translate into 125 grams of carbohydrates, okay? Which for me is probably gonna be a bowl of oatmeal, most likely, okay? So all in all, that's how I'm breaking down my 1900 calories, primarily protein, primarily fats, and then carbohydrates. So in reality, it's about 55% um, of my, after my protein is gonna be my fat and then 45% will be my carbs. Okay. So once again, as you guys know, in after four weeks, I'm going to drop these calories down. I hate my hair does that. I'm going to drop this, the calories down to a hundred and then four weeks after that, I'll drop it down another hundred. So technically when I end this program, I'm only going to be consuming 1700 calories. Okay. Which is huge. That's a huge deficit. Remember if my, technically my TDEE, is 2,500, I'm pretty much almost a thousand calories less than that. So that's kind of huge for me. Um, Cause I like to eat. I'm not going, I'm not going and doing a full body every single day. I'm not working my booty every single day, which honestly, if you use my full body, my, um, my build the butt shrink, the gut plan, it has a lot of glute focused days. Even if it's not a glute day, it really includes it. And so this plan will be totally different where if it's not a, leg day or lower body day they won't begin hit okay they will actually be resting and recovering because remember i already built my shape out so i don't really need to focus on my glutes definitely have cellulites from what you guys saw but i don't think that i need to go ham on them to keep them overall i think my nutrition 
and doing the LISS list that I will be able to maintain those curves and my booty. That's the goal. Fingers crossed, right? So also to get ready and be successful with this, guys, what I am doing is I purchased a food scale. We're going to go to the store because we're going to get an air fryer. Finally, I've been saying I want an air fryer forever in a day, guys. And I just, I don't know, never had the drive to actually get one. Mind you, I go to Target every week and we'll walk by like, no, it's okay. I'm not going to use it, I guess. But now I'm actually going to use it. So I'm going to get an air fryer. I a scale I'm gonna get a water jug because also my goal is to start drinking more water I do not drink enough water so I'm gonna start with the half a gallon um, and I'm gonna do that for the, maybe the first two to three weeks and then after that I'm gonna pump it up and get it to at least a gallon a day of water that is the goal as well um, and so I'm gonna be buying a water jug to carry that around I'm gonna be getting supplements so I do plan on trying the supplements from peace science I hear so many great things from them um, as well as um, true protein I've used them before so they're pretty good as well so I'm gonna mix get all those supplements those are being ordered as well and all of these specific things that I'm talking about right now just know as we go further and further into the routine I'll actually show you them you'll see me drinking them I'll give you the reviews on them um, but just know I just want to give you a high overview of everything that's needed to even go in to start the program so that's pretty much it um, of course, buying the food itself, right? So let's get ready. We're going to go ahead and get the body scan done so we can at least get the overall to see how much of my body is made up of fat. And I think from there, we should set a goal. Excuse that noise. <laughs> I live in a city. Um, I think from there, we should set a goal. Like how much body fat do I want to lose in the next 12 weeks, right? Let's put a percent there. Let's shoot for it. Since we're going to be checking in every four weeks on these scans, let's, let's shoot for something. And tomorrow we'll pick back up and we'll go to the grocery store. So I'll make the list tonight of these ideas of what I think I'm going to cook in my head. I'm going to keep it very simple because I, I, I know if I make two like difficult meals, I'm going to give up and then I'm going to be honest, just having to measure everything on the scale is going to get on my nerves. I know me. So I'm just going to keep them very simple and I'm probably going to repeat meals a lot just because I'm not going to want to measure and I want to learn it from my brain, right? To just go and do it. So yeah, so let's get the body scan done. Let's get the body fat percent that I currently carry and then tomorrow we'll go to the grocery store so we can get ready guys and then wrap this vlog up in general so this is the start or what I'm doing before I get started on this fat loss journey um, but then from there the next video you guys will get will actually be day one and day one you'll see me take my supplements hopefully I have everything already here um, take my supplements um, do my warm-up get some of the exercises in and then give a recap of the meals in the day and talk about it and then maybe we can even have a Q&A on um, the first after the first workout on Instagram live or I can answer your questions and make a video about it anything you guys want because remember guys I only did this vlog because you guys voted that you guys wanted a vlog so here we go. I hope you guys appreciate it. Let's get in the car and get to get in the body skin. Okay guys, we are here. We have made it. We are going to get my body scan. Dun, 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 I can't see the truth, but I can see all the fat. Jesus, I'm gonna see. I gotta go. Alright, so body fat. 
So guys, look, I am at risk. You guys see this? Let me see if the screen. That, I, that is the body fat percent. The percent of my body is 34.5%, guys. Remember, we're not gonna be focusing on weight. We're gonna focus on getting this number down. Reducing my body fat percent. Okay. And ultimately, you wanna get out of there. So you're in 34. To get you at average, we gotta go down at least 4%. So we wanna get as far as possible to that green as we can. Okay, they didn't hear that. You guys said it again. Oh, okay. So right now you're at 34.5% body fat. You're at, at risk to get you into average zone. We want to get you as far as possible towards that yellowish greenish area. And 4% body fat, which is something you can do over the next couple of weeks, will take you into that average zone. And then we're going to take you into that fit zone. And then we're just going to work from there, slowly but surely. Fit zone. So that's why I'm going to start tracking. Like you, got, you got to start tracking because you, you, sometimes you'd be like, oh, I ate good. Right. And then, oh, I ate this. And then we start tracking. You realize, like, oh, no, I have <laughs> 196 grams of protein. And you go back and look, you had 100. <laughs> but you went, you did a two-a-day. Your body is suppressed for none of that. Right. You know? And then you're not getting the proper amount of fat. You're not getting the proper amount of carbs. So you're like, oh, or then you might be eating too much. Right. You might be like, oh, I ate good. And then you look at like, oh, shit, I ate 2,700 calories. Right. Because you didn't realize how much that it's particular rack was. Right. That you bought from somewhere else because you ain't tracking. That's crazy. Yeah, so Even if you dial in on your nutrition, you start tracking your food, stay I doing start, stay doing what you're doing with your workout. Right. But you can literally have that out of at risk next month. Right. Period. Ooh. That's a matter of fact, that's a goal. I know that's a goal. That's a goal. That's, the goal <laughs> is to be at 30% body fat in a month. 30% body fat. In a month, by yeah. seven. I am so sorry that I did not officially sign out from this YouTube. <laughs> As you know, it's my first one and I totally forgot to record a signing out. So this is a to be continued. As you know, in the next part of this one, you get to go with me to the grocery store to do a grocery store haul so you can see all of my amazing meals um, and ingredients that I'm going to use. You actually get to see me make meals in the kitchen. You get to see the Target run as we go find the best air fryer. And most importantly, you'll actually be able to see um, the first workout on this 12 week program. So you wanna stay tuned guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed because it's only gonna get better from up here. And most importantly guys, drop your comments below. As you know, this is my first vlogging series. And so I'm giving you guys what I think you want to see, but I really would appreciate you guys to give me the feedback that you guys have and what you wanna see along this journey. Stay tuned, like I said, in a couple of days, you'll be getting the drop of the grocery store run as well as the workouts. And then from there, the next video will actually be more meals but also my review of my first week and how it went and i'm gonna give you guys a preview it didn't go as great as i thought make sure you tune in so you can find out what went wrong my first week and most importantly guys don't forget these are all of the tips you guys need in getting started on a fat loss program make sure you get your tdee get your calorie deficit get your workouts together, get your meals and nutrition together, start tracking, get your water, get your steps in, and most importantly, stay consistent, ladies. We're on this journey together. See you guys on the next episode. Bye.